All right, everyone, in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you some great snack ideas for you to keep track on keto. So snacks are a great way to stay on track, to stay within your weight loss goals, and to be successful. I even take snacks even now in my maintenance after losing 107 pounds. So I encourage you to make sure that you always take something with you, whether you're just going on a short road trip, you're on your way to work, you're going camping, make sure that you plan those keto snacks. So if that's what you're interested in, then keep on watching this video. Hi everyone, it's Janet. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, make sure you hit that red subscribe button. Give this video a like to let me know that you're liking my content and make sure that you're hitting that notification bell so that YouTube can notify you when I upload a new video. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for being here. I appreciate all of you and welcome back. I am a 44 year old mother and wife and I work two jobs to make up a 45 hour work week. I'm very, very busy. I take a lot of my meals to go. I meal prep, meal plan, and I also take a lot of snacks with me. So make sure that you're staying on track during your weight loss journey, whatever weight loss journey that you're on. If you're just starting, you're in the middle, or if you're even in your maintenance phase, phase remember, even in maintenance, we have to stay on track, you guys. Just because we got to our goal weight, it doesn't mean that we can just eat whatever we want and get off track. We still need to stay on plan. We still need to somewhat be keeping track of our net carbs and making sure that we stay keto because I feel my best when I'm doing keto. That's why I chose keto. I've done every diet under the sun. I promise you that. And keto is the one that I feel my best. I look my best and keeps my hunger at bay and just everything. So many benefits, you guys. So stay strong. Make sure that you're keeping on track. And these snacks that I mentioned in this video will definitely help you guys with your weight loss journey. All right, to lose 107 pounds, you guys, was very difficult. There was a few tricks that I liked to keep under my sleeve. And one of those was having snacks all the time. Even if I was leaving the house and wasn't hungry, I was still taking snacks with me because an hour after I leave the house, depending how long I'm away, I will get hungry and I don't want to be stopping at a fast food place and I don't want to be eating something that I shouldn't just because I wasn't prepared. So I encourage you guys to take snacks with you. All of these are very, very easy. They're all clean, keto. You can as well buy keto snacks at the gas station convenience stores if you are traveling and even if you're at an airport and you do forget to pack your snacks, make sure that you're staying on track, getting those nuts, sunflower seeds, beef jerky. Just make sure you're checking all of your nutrition information. It's very important once you start eating um, processed foods that you're picking up. Just make sure that you're checking that in nutritional information. But all of the other items that I list in this video are easily prepared that you guys can prepare the day before. Then when you're ready to leave out the door, you just grab them out of the fridge, put them in a cooler, put them in an insulated lunch bag, and you guys are good to go. You guys do have some snack ideas that you like taking with you, whether you are commuting to work or on holidays, make sure that you let me know in the comments below. Then everybody can read them and everybody can get some great ideas to stay on track and stay keto. So let's get into the video. It's one of my favorites and it's very, very easy to make and very easy to take with you. So I just have my large skillet here and I have it on low. And I am going to be using some shredded cheese and what we are going to be doing is frying some shredded cheese then we are just going to put a cooked hot dog, whether you air fry this or fry it, throw it in the microwave, boil it. But these are the ones that I like. These ones actually have um, zero net carbs for these. So that is why I do prefer getting these ones. They have very good macros for a hot dog. And so they're very, very easy. So all you do is just fry up some cheese, put the cooked hot dog inside and wrap it up. So let's get started. My frying pan is on low, and I'm actually just gonna put some oil at the bottom of this pan. You probably don't need it, but I am going to do that. It's as 
notice that the cheese is already um, pretty oily, so it, it usually doesn't stick to the pan, but um, knowing my luck, honestly, you guys, it probably would stick to the pan. So I just like to be proactive and put a little bit of oil in the pan. So we're just gonna make this um, like the inside out omelet. I had made that in a previous video. I will link that video here. It is absolutely delicious. Um, my 20 year old daughter even loved it and had it. So I will link that video here, but it's the same sort of idea. We are just going to be wrapping a hot dog in it and it's going to be a nice quick snack that we can take with us on the road, whether we're going to work and whether we're going camping, this is also another good camping idea. Even if you're out camping, this is very, very easy to make after you can barbecue your hot dog over an open fire even and then make this afterwards. So what I'm going to do with my hot dog is I'm just going to throw mine in the microwave, you guys. I just don't have the time to cook it any other way, but feel free, you guys, to cook it however you like it. Um, I usually prefer mine over the barbecue, I'll be honest, but I just don't have that kind of time today. So I'm just gonna throw it in the microwave. All right, let's turn this up a little bit. I'm gonna turn that kind of on like a lower medium. All right, our hot dog is gone, done with a quick 15 seconds in the oven or in the microwave, you guys. Like I said, I usually like mine over the barbecue, but I don't have that kind of time today. There we go, it is starting to bubbling, but we're gonna wait until it's a little bit more crispy, and then we will take it out of the pan and roll up our hot dog. All right, so this is looking pretty done, to be honest. No, oh, it's getting there, it's not quite done yet. So it needs to get a little bit more crispy on the outside. I know it's really hard to tell with um, cheddar cheese, but you definitely want it to be a little bit pliable um, instead of like it's sticking to the spatula. So we'll just wait a few minutes longer. I'm just gonna turn it down a little bit. All right, so now it's starting to crisp up that you can see. So I'm gonna actually turn my stove off. And what I'm going to do is I am actually just going to put my hot dog right in the pan. Then what we're going to do is just roll it up with the hot dog inside. It's going to be a little bit difficult to do. You guys need some patience, but it definitely turns out really, really good. So there you go. Just kind of wrap it. And the good thing is, is that the cheese will kind of mold. Um, because it is a little bit pliable. You just have to make sure that you have patience with this. Like I said, it you don't wanna start rolling it until it gets like crispy on the outside or else it's just gonna be a huge, a huge mess. Here we go. Perfect. Just gonna put that on a plate. All right, you guys, and what I usually like to do is just cut it right in half and then just eat it. It's so good. It gets a little bit messy because the cheese obviously is very oily, but these, these are so good, you guys, so easy. Your kids will even like them as well, too. They taste like a cheese dog. So, so delicious and very, very easy. Has a nice crunch to it. And the cheese is absolutely delicious. You can use any kind of cheese with this, you guys. But I'm telling you, it makes a really, really good snack as well, too. And you guys can use this with anything. Like if you wanted to use a smoky instead of a hot dog, feel free. But really, really easy and quick to do for a nice snack. All right, you guys, let's, let's taste these. These are so delicious. I've had them before. Really, really good. The cheese is what makes it, you guys. But let's give it a taste test, all right? Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm. 
That is so good, you guys. It, what makes it is definitely the cheese, obviously. And especially at barbecues, if you guys are hosting any barbecues, maybe this summer, and everybody's having hot dogs and buns, you can just make your guys a easy cheese wrap and have it with that. I'm telling you, you're not gonna miss anything. It tastes just as good and even better, honestly, without the bun. That's what I find with burgers. I prefer my burgers now without the bun. I feel like buns and like hot dog buns and hamburger buns, I feel like they don't even have a taste anymore, to be honest. I've just been keto for so long. That's how I feel about um, these cheese wraps as well, too. I feel like they're very, very flavorful and you won't even miss the bun, you guys. So make sure that you give it a try. Snack idea, which I just made here, is some of the Simply Delish chocolate pudding. I get this off a Nutra market here in Canada. Really, really good. And since I'm allergic to nuts and almond milk, I use the unsweetened vanilla silk coconut. And it's very, very good. It's very thick. And it is only one carb as well too. Very long calories and the one carb, which is awesome. So that is what I did to make this chocolate pudding. And then what I usually do as well too for on the go is I will put these in three different containers. This makes four servings. And I am going to actually divot it up into three servings and take that with me. And it's a good on the go snack and very, very satisfying as well too. So I mixed this with my hand mixer. Um, it's obviously a lot better if you can do it with your electric mixer, but I just did it with my whisk and it still turned out pretty, pretty good. So I am just going to put this and I'm going to divide it into three containers and that you guys is another easy good snack for on the go keep it in your fridge grab and go all right another snack that I like taking with me are these chocolate chip cookies that I order I get these off a of Nutra market also um, sewage grocery or I've even found them off of the low carb grocery here in Canada um, these are really really good um, very, very easy to make. So I am just gonna make some of those because these are a great snack to take with you. I always make some of these ahead of time when we go camping as well too. So all you will need for this is a large egg and three tablespoons of melted butter and some vanilla extract. All right, that's all you need. So preheat the oven to 325. And I also have parchment paper on my cookie sheet for when they are done. But this is so easy, you guys, and these cookies are really, really good. I know I do a lot of things that are like packaged, but you know what? It's just kind of easy and convenient for me. I work a busy, busy work week. I work a 45 hour work week. So I just don't have the time to be like making a lot of things from scratch. I do try to make what I can from scratch if I have the time. But I'm sorry, for the most part, I am doing the packages just for the convenience of it. And you know what? They taste really, really good. So there we go. Added the egg, added the vanilla, added the melted butter. And that is it, you guys. We are just going to stir this all together and then put it on our baking sheet. So let's do that. All right. So that is all combined. So let's put it all on our cookie sheet. I think these make 12. Let me double check. Yes. So they make 12 cookies. So let's get started on that. And I have this um, scooper that I have, like a cookie scooper. So we are just going to put those all on our cookie sheet. I'm leaving all the bad stuff. And trying to remain so strong I know it's good if I'm alone I got it, I got it Go, go, go Running into better times Go, go, go From my emotions I'll go, go, go Running into better times To better times To better times To better times To better times That is all done, so let's put them in the oven 
like I said, 325 and we put them for about 10 minutes. Hey guys, these are the cookies right out of the oven. They're not the prettiest or the thickest, but they are very, very good. So what I do with these in the summertime, I'm just gonna get a cooling rack, one second. So what I do with these in the summertime is I make s'mores with these. And what I do is I usually put some chocolate. You can either put some of the Lily's little baking chocolate chips in the inside, and then you can roast this marshmallow. I get these off of Low Carb Grocery here in Canada. Um, they are this brand name, sorry I can't pronounce that, marshmallows, and they do roast up just like a regular marshmallow over the campfire. So what I do is I roast my marshmallows with everybody else, every other, um, everybody else making theirs, and then what I do is I will take two of these cookies, and then I will put my chocolate chips, and then I will put my roasted marshmallow and make a sandwich out of it, just like a s'more, just like everybody else is having, and you don't feel left out. They are absolutely delicious, so I always make sure that I make some of these and take them camping with me everywhere I go. I also will do a prep and take these and take them with me for my meals or my snacks, and they're just a really, really low carb option for cookies. They work out to be one net carb per cookie. And like I said, they don't they don't look the prettiest, but they're really, really, really good, you guys. So highly recommend getting that. And like I said, it's the Good D's chocolate chip cookie mix. I will link it down below for you guys to order some, but very, very good option for you guys for some snacks as well. All right, you guys, another great snack that I like taking with me on the go is going to be some meat roll-up. So I use this ham. Um, this is kind of the ham I always buy. It's very, very good. So what you're going to do is, I'm going to make four of these since I have four pickles, is we are going to make a roll-up um, with the pickles inside. So I have cleaned my counters here, you guys. And I'm going to take out four of the slices of ham. All right, there we go. And now what we are going to do is we are gonna put some mayo on each one of those. So there we go. We're gonna spread that all over the whole entire slice of ham. And then what I also like to you make fan I'm a big fan of the seasoning, so I'm gonna put a little bit of the everything but the bagel seasoning, which I'm running out of, sadly. I need to go and get some more. This I got from Trader Joe's. Um, it's my favorite, but they have some at Costco, so I might try some from there, but I always like putting that on. And then I put my pickles just on a paper towel to let them dry a little bit. And there we go. And then all you do is just roll them up with the ham. And then I'm just gonna put mine in a little container here. I'm gonna put mine in a little container with um, some paper towel on the bottom, just because um, these do kind of get a little bit damp. And that is another good thing, another good snack for you guys to take on the road, whether you're doing a road trip or you're on holidays even maybe, or whatever have you, but this is great. I used to take these hunting because we are hunters, like I mentioned before. And this was always a good snack to take while I was hunting as well, too. So there you have it, you guys. Your whole family will like them. Even your kids will like them. Really, really simple and easy to make just before you head out the door, you guys. All right, so we're just going to start assembling um, a little meat and cheese. This is another great idea for snacks on the go, you guys. Um, these are the crackers that I recently got from Nutra Market here in Canada. They are pretty good. I do prefer the Eves, um, but you guys maybe even have your own favorite, but I'm allergic to nuts, so I'm quite limited on what I can have. But I just put some crackers in here. I put two slices cut up of this Black Forest ham. I love this ham. and. Two slices of cheese. This is the Havarti. I get this from Costco. It's my favorite cheese. I love that it's prepackaged. You pay a little bit more, but you pay for the convenience of it. And so I'm just gonna put two packages of that. I cut up two slices of ham just so that they were kind of convenient size in order to have 
my meat and cheese on the go and crackers, you guys. So you guys can take this with you, whether you're camping, do up a little things for your kids. They love having things like this. It reminds them of um, the little snack boxes that you can get. And yeah, they, they are just very, very convenient and they will keep you full and satisfied so you won't be stopping for snacks at those convenience stores or getting something that has a lot of sugar alcohols in it that is only gonna give you weight gain. You guys can make your own Take all your own snacks with you on your road trips, all right? All right, so another snack that I was talking about that you guys can have is um, hard-boiled eggs. Hard-boiled eggs are an excellent source of protein, you guys. Really, really easy to make and easy to go on the go and obviously convenient. You guys can just take this, prep it the night before, take it with you on a road trip. I always take these with me camping as well now that it's starting to get spring and summer out. I will be taking about a half a dozen hard boiled eggs with me. Jimmy loves grabbing them, they're high in protein. So highly recommend having hard boiled eggs, you guys. All right, you guys, that's the end of the video. Thank you so much for being here and thank you to all my new subscribers. I appreciate you all so much for clicking on my video and watching my channel. Make sure that you are sharing my videos as well too. It helps my channel grow and lets me get to more people to share all the information that I do know and that I share with you guys for losing 100 pounds and losing weight on your keto weight loss journey. So make sure that you're hitting that red subscribe button. Give this video a like to let me know that you're liking my content. And don't forget to hit that notification bell so that YouTube can notify you when I upload a new video. Thanks for watching.